Hi team and welcome back to Hayley's Help. You guys have been voting over on the family slash community page here on YouTube and you have gone for the cleaning of the chest of drawers and organising of the chest of drawers. Favourite things lost unfortunately. You can't win them all though. Someone's got to lose. So that is what we are going to be doing in today's vlog. Please keep watching until the very end because you gorgeous bunch are going to be getting the first view of 2019's Haley's Help Christmaration trailer. I am super excited for you guys to see it and the best way you can support the Haley's Help YouTube channel is by watching the content, liking the content, sharing the content and commenting on the content. So with that said team, let's get in to the vlog that you guys voted for. I'll meet you at the chest of drawers. Okay guys, the chest of drawers we are going to be working with today are these ones here. They are by boldsmart.co.uk. We have been redoing the house in stages and this is a new addition to our bedroom. I really, really like these drawers because they are very, very clever, Trevor. You don't need to use any tools to put them together. It literally is a case of just opening them up, slotting in the different pieces, and then they come together like magic. It is so genius, this idea. The only thing I want to change on these drawers is the handles because I've got some different handles that tie in with the bedroom theme, which is like a blue theme. But these were the drawers that I really wanted just for the ease of putting them together because my husband works a lot. So it just made it easier for a novice like me. I'm not what the builder, I'm handy to her. Good at cleaning and home making. I'm not so good at building furniture. Okay, so the first thing when it comes to cleaning and organising drawers within your house is remove everything to begin with. I know it sounds like an obvious thing, but trying to kind of work around everything, it's easier if you've got everything out on the floor so you can see what you want to keep, what you want to give to charity, what you want to throw away, and then start placing it back within the drawers. But before we do that, we are going to press on to cleaning the drawers. So once your drawers are empty, go and grab yourself a vacuum with the dust attachment and get yourself a cleaner and polisher with a clean microfiber cloth. Let's go! makeup collection don't really want it to be out on show um, so I just wanted it to be sealed away within the drawers so a really good Haley's helpful hack for this is get yourself some of these cardboard box lids they're from Ikea these used to be in Sienna's room we don't have them anymore um, but rather than throwing stuff away I've kept them and these lids come in super handy for storing your makeup in just to protect the bottom of your drawers so that they don't get any kind of lip gloss or powders and stuff on them these are very very nifty Okay, so in our next drawer, we have got my husband's swimming trunks and scarves. So 
what I love for this particular draw and the method that I use is our lovely friend Marie Kondo's folding method. It works an absolute charm and it is so good at saving space within your drawers. So that's what we're going to be doing. handles on to the chest of drawers and then we are going to focus on cleaning the outside unit so let's do that now okay so these are the little handles that we got they're from nobblesandbobbles.com they have got such cute things and these match perfectly with my pictures that I've got up I just really really like the look of them and the color and they're just super different so these were a very nice addition to our newly decorated boudoir. Okay guys, so the final part once your drawers have been organised and the insides have been cleaned is we are going to clean the outside. So once again I'm going to be using the cleaner and polish. This is by Howard. I will leave the links in the description box for everything I have used in this vlog today if you guys want to check it out um, and you literally just want to make sure you go over the whole of the drawers for the handles you can use your cleaner and polish but I would advise once every now and then actually using a disinfectant on them because obviously these are the parts that you will be touching the most and they can get a bit germy and we do not want germs within our house. No, no, no. Thanks for watching the vlog guys. I hope you have found this vlog helpful. If you have, go ahead and click on that like button and don't forget to click the subscribe button as well to stay up to date with all the Hayley's help content. Stay tuned trailer. Here it is. It was the night before Christmas when all through Haley's house not a creature was stirring but the winter spice bleach was out. The personalized Christmas gift sacks were hung with care from the Debor stag bust, all shiny with flair. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while the sweet trees candy danced in their heads. And Haley in her Helen Moore vintage collar and I in my cap, there's certainly no time for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn arose such a clatter, it was all the Haley's helpers having a pre-Christmas natter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash and vacuumed the blinds with the Vax Blade 2 Max. The windows all clean with a sparkling glow, we cleaned them with tea, don't you know? When what to my wandering eyes should appear, Louise Rose Aromas and Anna Lou of London were here. Our eyes how they twinkled, our houses all merry, our cheeks were like roses, thanks to the blusher by Terry. Bespoke an oak, literati and light, Christmas Eve was almost in sight. The Mobro's beard kit was wrapped and topped off with a bow and the toilets were clean and as white as the snow. Christmaration completed, we're done with our work. Keep up with the cleaning, but don't go berserk. With a spring in our steps, you are all a delight. Merry Christmas to all. Subscribe, share and like.